What's happening, partners? Oh my goodness, what a fun weekend. It's Sunday night. That's uh, yeah, I just been running around, spent most of the weekend taking Lena to uh, birthday parties, Saturday and Sunday. I uh, got a couple people that are interested in the Civic, which is kind of cool. I might be sold this week, and that means I can get moving forward with different projects. But um, outside of taking care of Lena to birthday parties, I set up the new studio for my tattoos, and uh, I just want to show you guys. It's pretty dope. Alrighty, this is where we're at now. I wish you saw this room prior. Uh, we're not done it at all, but um, got all my supplies in, which is really dope. I went with like this cra some crazy machines. I'm so excited for them because um, technology has gotten so much better. Previously, um, actually, real quick, I want to show you everything because that's all the furniture. But then I got this light. I don't know. It's a cool light. <laughs> I don't know if I'm showing you a light, but yeah. All that junk was basically there. I don't mean to get you dizzy, but um, I forget how to pronounce this, but it's like Chang Che Shine Shine Ne Ne. But um, so when I when I tattooed, I should grab my old tattoo machines. Oh, so weird. All right, so like previously, I used to um, obviously tattoo with like coil machines, right? And basically a coil armature bar. Um, disposable tubes or sometimes stainless ones and I did so much work with these I mean I used to do a full it used to be my job it used to be my full-time job and um, but with technology now um, as soon as I was getting out of it they came out with like rotary machines and didn't get into them because I always had these they did fine for me um, but now my stuff's so old that honestly I'm kind of like ready for an all-around new experience with um, with Tattooing, so I picked up this Shane Shan Chane <laughs> tattoo equipment, um, which is super, super um, well made. My the guy that tattoos me uh, a few years ago, the last time I got tattooed, he was telling me about these, and I was like, Sweet, I'm sweating because it's hot in this room because I, I just ordered a window unit, but um, I don't have it yet. But yeah, no, I don't, I don't want to touch it because my hands are dirty. Um, but they're really, really dope, and I can't wait to set it up. And and my hands are—I was just in the garage digging for all my stuff. I forgot I had so much stuff that I had, like all, a bunch of inks. Like I have to throw—I'm throwing out all my old stuff. I'm not throwing it out, but like as far as like consumables, like supplies and stuff, I'm pretty much gonna trash all that stuff. Like ink, um, gloves, uh, obviously old needles, everything. That's all—it's all gonna be fresh. I just ordered all new stuff. Uh, and it's cool because the new ink needles are crazy. They're like in, <clears throat> but yeah, now I'm super excited. They're gonna be, uh, they're gonna be doing a lot of work because as soon as I, as soon as I put out there that I was gonna start again, I'll, like, you know, everyone that I used to tattoo, uh, I'm gonna get in air conditioning because it's so hot in there. <laughs> Woo. There, all right, so, um, so yeah, I got all new equipment. I'm setting up the studio. I just ordered a couch. Um, fish tank, because I want a fish tank in there. Really cool plant. And what else did I order? I can't remember. Man, I can't remember it all. But anyway, I, I'm pretty much building up a shop. Because back in when I was 16, I wish I could find a, uh, a picture, but I was when I was uh, like 16 to like 23, um, at first I tattooed out of my mom's house, of course. And, uh, but she allowed me to have my own, like, I had my bedroom, but I had an, an, a studio room back then. Really cool because uh, I had a couch in there, I had all my supplies, it was a very cool vibe. And I want to build that in, like, a new way. And that's why I went with, like, the stuff I'm going with. I got a side table, I forgot about that side table. I have a really cool side table for the couch. <laughs> I'm just going to design it and, um, I got a window unit so I can have air conditioning air conditioner or whatever. Yeah, no, I'm super excited though. But I was working on that all day. Like building all the furniture. Like tables and the drawer thing, man, they take forever. Like Ikea, I mean, I like the way that they have, it's pretty easy to follow, but 
it takes forever. And it's hot up here if you're not in this room. I have an air conditioner here, but if you're not in this room, it's hot, it's hot up here. We're gonna freaking rock and roll soon, because uh, like I said, my homies was like, you know, he, he hasn't gotten tattooed since, and he's waiting, kind of waiting for me to, not waiting for me to start back up, but now that I am, He's, he's, he's ready to rock with me. I think Lena's calling me, but I just wanted to give you an update. Until next time, you know what I'm saying? I love you guys. Holla. You'll be two with your daddy? Yeah. Lena. Yeah? What are we going to see? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Lion King. The uh, king of lions. It's Angu. That's Angu. That's Angu. That's a butterfly. That's a tree. Wow. What's happening? I am, we're gonna take Lena, actually the whole fan squad's coming out with us. We're gonna see the Lion King, the King of Loyans, the Wrath God of Moth God. You excited, Lena? You don't seem excited. I am. All right, good. I'm just tired. <laughs> You're just tired? All right, we're just gonna get what was it Wednesday? Wednesday movie night? Holla! Lena, what are you gonna go with to eat? Ooh, the nachos look so good. Lena, what are you gonna eat? Um, <laughs> there's, there's mac and cheese. Alright, you like that? You going with us? No, there's mac and cheese here. See? see? Mac and cheese. Skin bite! Did you like it, Lena? Yeah, but who died for real life? <laughs> and who came back to Can life? Can you just explain to them? Lena, like, Lena's... Lena's mind is blown because all she knows is the Lion Guard. <laughs> she doesn't know Lion King. <laughs> you know that she, was, King. she was so confused. Where was Kion the whole time, Lena? He didn't come and to the Mala's earth. belly belly. He didn't come to the earth and but the bad guy, um, Scar. He got Scar got eaten by the by the um, by the he by the hyenas. <laughs> the hyenas. The hyenas. He got eaten by the he, hyenas. Um, but and then they were on the and but they still were mean. It's perfect timing. Yeah, no, it's bedtime. It's bedtime. Bedtime, Lena. That movie was so good. I want to start going with you guys. What's up, guys? So, it's a little later. I took Lena to the movie San Monica. It was a fun night. I'm like tired today, but it's all good. I've been working on this project for Saturday. Um, luckily, everyone that once supported me when I was first started tattooing is all reaching out and um, I already have appointments. So, it's really, really cool. So, I have a project for this weekend. And it's basically um, two swords crossing, and we're gonna go into like a cool god, like a Greek god face behind it. And I'm um, super excited to see where it leads. Kind of doodling, trying to figure out composition. How do I wanna put these swords? I have some references, and just trying to figure, figure it all out. So, um, basically, so, this is my reference. I love this sword. I like how I just like the shadows it's casting and everything in between. So I just pretty much took that, um, trying to find how I want to position that sword in a better way that'll fit the arm, but not protrude, but also set up for future tattoos. So I always try to, if I know someone's gonna keep getting tattooed, I don't want to pretty much set them up for failure because each. I call them panels, so you have panels on your arm that like, in theory, your arm should be broken into like four panels, front, back, front, back, like front, back, top, front, back, bottom. That's the best way to get tattooed because you're giving um, the artist the, um, more space to create and more space to put um, artwork on, on and the artwork can be bigger which in turn gives you more detail. So, I'm trying to pretty much set myself up so we can make a full, pretty much like go into a full sleeve, but we're gonna start with this. We're gonna warm up with this one. It's a good piece to warm up with because um, cause it's not too crazy. It's not too big. It should I should be able to bang it out in a couple hours. 
and also take my time with some details and um, execute on some new techniques that I've been um, just kind of like researching so I'm super super pumped about that studio is coming along together really well I'm so excited when I talk about the stuff that um, sometimes I like I just kind of like ever forget all the lingo and I was filming a basically like talking about my equipment and I was like you know what I was like I'll, I'll do a breakdown of what I what I transferred to because I went from um, coil machines to pretty much uh, rotary machines that use cartridges it's a whole new system that I'm not used to so um, I'll, I don't ever like to speak on things until I use them and I feel comfortable and I can I feel comfortable about talking about them the appointments this Saturday it's my it's, uh, it's gonna be exciting I got a lot of a lot of projects that I am going to be working on which is a blessing and I'm super super pumped but I'll show you the studio because it's, it's starting to come out sweet sauce. One portion's messy, the other portion's pretty, like, not mess. it's like not dirty, it's just chaos. So this is the stewed, the studio. So it's really, it's coming together really nice. I got a couch, I'm gonna get a TV kind of on this side. Um, I'm actually, this door is open to Lena's playroom. I'm actually going to close this and probably close this for good. And then the entrance is going to be there. And this is my workstation. I got this sweet cherry blossom plant. That's like an artificial one, but I don't know. It looks cool. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited. I'm super excited about that couch. Got an air conditioner unit finally. And uh, yeah, but that's a mess. <laughs> so. I'm just pretty much, I'm excited. We're almost there. Um, what's cool is like this all happened within a couple weeks. Um, like literally two weeks ago is when Monica came to me and was like, you should, would you ever consider getting a tattooing again? And again, I just got excited and I'm excited to get going and, you know, progress to a new level of, of it's not product based, but get to the next level of design, get to the, increase my um, skills and all that good stuff, so I'm excited. I have like zero energy, but it's all good though. Hi. All right guys, I'm going to wrap this video up just so I can get moving on to the next project because Saturday's gonna come before you know it and I really wanna focus on filming and just kinda walking you through um, process of life <laughs> I don't know um, but yeah I just wanted to get a video out again keeping it light keeping it fun um, I was supposed to sell my Civic this week but uh, dude never showed up but <clears throat> or he never hit me back up it's okay uh, hopefully that eventually sells so we can keep moving forward but besides that we're almost set up for the studio we're pretty well off clothing's doing well I appreciate everyone that supports uh, UniteBecause.com, it means freaking world to me that the jackets did very well. Um, we're actually working on a restock, hopefully, so that way we can, um, so everyone can get one. So if you haven't checked it out, check out the website, UniteBecause.com. I am going to head to bed. I might try to edit this real quick. It's like 11.30. I might be able to squeeze it out and then get it sh shined up for Friday or Thursday. Let's say Thursday. Yeah. Yeah come out Friday or tomorrow night maybe I don't know either way happy freaking Thursday happy freaking Friday you already know what it is I don't know what I'm saying, I'm saying at all so yeah I appreciate it. thanks for coming along it's kind of all over the place but that's that's what we're gonna do here now so love you guys I'll let you boy <laughs> turn the thing off hello am I hitting the wrong button yeah that's what I'm doing hitting the wrong button there now okay bye bye